Isaac Newton's third law encapsulates the concept of karma very concisely. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. To put it another way, every action you put out into the world will have repercussions that will return in the opposite direction back to you. To take an example of this in our everyday lives, consider a dam and its reservoir of water. The way in which water enters the dam determines its purity. If the water source is rain or snow, its purity level is high, and it can be used safely by people, animals, and plants. This type of water makes the surrounding area thrive and in turn maintains the beauty of the environment. As the water in the surroundings spreads into streams and the atmosphere, it eventually recirculates and returns to the reservoir, replenishing the original level of purity. If the original source of the water had been contaminated with waste or other toxins, then unfortunately damage occurs to the surrounding areas. As the water recirculates, it adds to the pollution in the dam, which was its original source. Swamiji takes this example and uses it to describe the flow of money through our lives. We are like a reservoir of money. If the way we make our living is virtuous, then the money earned is pure, improves the lives of our family and society, and finally returns to us, sometimes amplified. On the other hand, if we cheat our way to money, we may make sudden gains, but eventually the corrupted money poisons ourselves and those around us. The deceit and fraud will wind up punishing us, and since we are the reservoir, it in turn punishes our loved ones. Taking this analogy a step further, Swamiji says we should pay close attention to the reasons why we have faced the global spread of disease. God has created a cycle. Our actions are like water. When virtuous, it evaporates untainted to the heavens and eventually rains back down to us with reward. If, however, our actions are maleficent, the vapors that flow to the heavens are toxic, and when recirculated back to us take the form of global disease. Therefore, we must remember that everything in this world is temporary and that the cosmos is designed so that Newton's law, and hence karma, is felt by us within the context of the cycle of our deeds. Swamiji advises us to remember that life is short, and that there will be a reckoning for each of us. He pleads with us to remember to work hard but honestly for a living and to never cheat or defraud others. He warns us that humanity has not fully grasped the lessons of the events of the recent past, which were meant to unite us as human beings. And so a new wave of testing through global disease will be upon us in 2025 through 2026.